Earlier this week, the USDA WASDE report came out and prices fell. Here to help explain what's going on, Kim Anderson, our grain marketing specialist. Kim, let's start with that report. What was in this one? Not much. You look at uh, wheat, the uh, any stocks were lowered nine, 9 million bushels, uh, small changes in hard red winter wheat numbers, small changes in spring wheat numbers, just not much changes in, in the wheat report in the United States. Now, if you look at world, they increased world production in uh, Kazakhstan and uh, Morocco and some other countries. Most of that wheat will go into the feed, into the feed system while uh, over into corn. World ending stocks did increase, and you know that that does have some negative impact on prices. All right, now the one place we didn't see a drop in price was in spring wheat. Why the difference there? Well, I think it reflects the uh, shortage of protein wheat around the world. I think you've got more than adequate supplies of the hard red winter wheats, of the soft red winter wheats, of the, the feed uh, wheat that can go into the feed market, but you have a tide or lack of supply of the protein wheats, and I think that's why the protein, the, the uh, hard red spring prices stayed relatively high. All right, now then what's going on with corn? Uh, corn prices, uh, they lowered the uh, corn ending stocks about 100 million bushels. Uh, they lowered corn production and corn prices. Uh, they also went down like uh, wheat prices right after the report. All right, so it doesn't sound like the WASD numbers should be causing this price drop. What is causing it? Well, I think there was very little effect from the WASD. You know, some from the world numbers, the world numbers were more important than the U.S. numbers. But I think it was during uh, this week, uh, the Italian financial problems came out. Uh, the interest rate in Italy going up 70 percent, it increased the cost of managing their debt and that's putting more pressure on the euro. You know, we, we talked about Spain a couple weeks ago and we anticipated uh, that's not even in, in on the radar right now. Uh, Greece isn't fully solved and now we got uh, Italy on, on top of that and that's the third largest uh, country financially in the European Union. All right, so plenty to keep an eye on there. Thanks for the update. Good information as always. Kim Anderson, our grain marketing specialist.